Hey y'all, I'm here with um, Creeperbot, and we're going to be taking a look at his discovery today. So, take over. Well, hello, here we are on the bridge of the discovery. You recognize it from the show, I'm sure. Uh, we've got the ready room in the back here, which is based on a season one version, because in season two it's a really weird science lab that I didn't want to build. And up front on deck one, we've got a little, you don't see this in the show, but this is like... Sorry, you gotta get my compass. Shit. Okay. Where? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. I don't even see you. Uh, you're not even on the bridge anymore. You're above the bridge. Oh, I thought you went above the bridge. <laughs> no. You don't see this in the show, but this is a little break room for like the bridge crew to rest. It's like, just I figured that'd be a good thing to put there. Um, and of course, if you have questions along the way, you're welcome to ask if I don't cover something in the tour. Yeah. Um, gotcha. Out the back here, on the back of deck one, got two airlocks, got a conference room, and then there's some escape pods down that long hallway, but I'm not going to take you all the way down there because that'll take too long. One sec, I gotta change my render distance. Okay. You can go down the turbo lift here behind the bridge, which is like the main one they normally use in the show. Got deck two here. Not a lot on deck two. Mostly just a computer operations deck kind of thing. Got some windows if you look out at the saucer section right there. Wicked. All right. And on my discovery here, we've got stairwells, uh, staircases that lead throughout the entire ship. So uh, if the power goes down, there's like no access to turbo lifts. You could take the stairs if you wanted to. If you guys are wondering, um, this ship is technically complete. Discord says virtually complete. Right, yeah, it's more or less finished, or finished in quotes, because a lot of the rooms are still empty, like I still have to fill in details in the rooms, but the actual structure of everything is in place, which is why we say it's pretty much finished. And when did you start it? Uh, this was started... Like May, maybe? Maybe earlier? Uh, yeah, it was started in 2019, no, wait, yeah, it was started actually 2020, um... This is the third iteration of our Mine Trek Discovery build. Um, and this specific version, yeah, it was started, I believe, in May. Yeah, we're not going to get through the entire ship, so if you want to see it, I highly suggest you come online. We just took a loop through Deck 3. This is a... Actually, we can t I can show you the... Um, uh, a couple of rooms from the show are on this deck. I just remembered we can take a quick stop there. We go cut through this turbo lift. What's your speed set to? Uh, I'm at default speed. This is not a room from the show, but this is what the phaser technology looks like. So if you popped off the the lid of the phaser bank, yeah, there's like there a big go. energy battery kind of thing underneath it there, which is where we just were. And then if we carry on... Shoot, I'm in medical bay. Oh, good job. I'm Come there again. Oh my goodness. Um, hang on. You can just teleport to me. <laughs> yep, I'm not gonna overthink this. Alright, if we carry on down the corridor here, here we have uh, Commander Saru's quarters. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, I see these once in the show. Um... He's got a whole bunch of shrubbery and stuff in here, so I thought that would be a fun inclusion here. But yeah, that's where we are here. And then carrying on down this curve here, we have a couple more crew quarters from the show. This is the captain's here, which you see also once uh, when Lorca was in charge. I don't think you ever see him when Pike is in charge, but yeah, I assume that he probably just that's took a creeper the same thing ones. to know, you guys. Indeed. Well, I mean, I pay attention. 
Uh, this is Michael and Tilly's quarters. They're probably the main, most quarters you see in the show. Uh, the oh, main ones. yes. I, I do recognize these just from looking at it. Yep. Um, I, I'm not sure. In, fa in fact, I put them in the right place um, where they technically are supposed to be. But the reason I chose this section of the ship to put them in is because these quarters are the most uh, forward-facing. So because Minecraft, if you have something at an angle, it has to be built with like diagonal blocks and stuff. And I didn't want the main quarters that you see in the show to be built in diagonal, so I decided to build them here so I could build them more or less straightforward facing. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll probably do the same thing. Mm -hmm. well, that's about it for this deck. We can go turbo lift right here, thankfully. We can go right down one. Yeah, man, there is no time limit to this. Yeah, sure. Most most decks will just be probably a couple minutes showing the main uh, the main features of all of them. Uh, let me take a down here. Wait, who's well, Curie's? Oh, she oh, made yeah, her own that's, corners. She did indeed. Our one of the builders on our server, Curie, who actually I should mention, was eventually became kind of my co-builder on this ship, and definitely could not have completed it without her. Um, so she decided to build her own quarters, which is fun. And I let a couple other people do that, too. I might crash um, here, too. Are you going to crash, really? No, I mean, I'm not going to crash the ship, don't worry. I'm just going to crash oh, here. No, I thought you meant, like, your game. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you have a spot you want to find some quarters, you're all going to build some. Oh, one sec. The oh. game froze. Did I lag out? <laughs> no, you're still here. You're oh, moving. There, it goes. there we go. All right, so anyway... To continue on with the tour, this little walkway we're in here, if you're familiar with Discovery Design, or if you open up your mini-map there, um, you'll remember that Discovery has that unusual uh, negative space cutout in between the two rings. And of course it has these glass walkways that uh, connect the two sides, so it's kind of a cool view. You can see the curve of the saucer like arcing away from you. It's, it's a nice uh, little spot on the ship, but... I've been teasing the the dry dock. I'll get to it eventually. Oh, of course we can. Maybe we can do that in this video or another video. I don't know. Anyway, if we go back the way we were coming, uh, we've got actually these are escape pods that are passing here. Uh, they're just a little four-person, uh, pretty simple little cute escape pod. Roughly two, two. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? It's not a super detailed thing, but yeah, yeah they're pretty the small job. compared to a lot of the ones on the server. But they're act the ship actually has a ton of escape pods. Like, I think that's probably I think it has room for about 900 people to evacuate if it needs to, that's which is like, which is almost four or five times the crew complement. So yeah, definitely. I think a mine can get number. like 500, maybe 700 people out. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we are in the main med bay from the show. And if you come to this side, you'd probably recognize it. They show yeah. it pretty frequently. Uh, we've got just, it's got three beds. There is a, there are a few other med bays on my version of the build here that we'll get to that have much more beds than three. But to replicate this set on the show, I just made this one have the, the three little um, uh, supply compartment in the corner here. You see that in the short trek. I might include pictures of the original sets for you guys oh, if I cool. ended up editing it Definitely. a bunch. Got another little airlock here that comes out in between the two rings, but we don't have to go look in, look in there, but trust me, it's there. Uh, oh yeah, this this deck has a couple nice lounges too that we can uh, show off. If we continue down the corridor, we've got the other walkway, which we were just in on the other side. This is not the mess hall from the show. That was actually on the deck above. Forgot to show you guys. Um, but this is a, another lounge on the ship that I decided to put here. And as you can see, it's kind of a, it's like a big, tall ceiling. This would be kind of just like, there's like some bar seating here, some replicators, or I guess food dispensers. This all reminds me of that um, one scene in Undiscovered Country when Scotty found the clothing in the vents. Remember that scene? Yeah, I do. I don't know. Wait, this room reminds you of that scene? I don't know. Yeah, because it had that those it had that bar area and it had the, the uh, right. low slung roof. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I can see it. Uh, but yeah, this is probably one of the main uh, hangout hubs on the ship, where maybe aside from the mess hall, where people would come in their off time. Uh, but yeah, we can continue. Probably go the next deck. There's not too. Actually, we can't go to the next deck because there's actually a whole other ring of the saucer that I forgot about. This is a Chris Kuhn model, right? Or is it a different model? No, this is the. Shoot, what's his name? He's on Facebook. Um, Mark Bell? I think yeah, this Mark is a Mark Bell, Bell model. I um, keep forgetting he made one too. Yeah, that's where we're on right now. This is, uh, The way we do the ships is we have them imported from 3D models, then we come in with our own details and modify them but uh yeah anyway what we're looking at here is the hydroponics bay for when uh people don't want to have the replicated food dispenser food the chef of the ship could come in here and get some supplies to build or to create some actual real food for the crew should they choose that's the deal there and this is kind of uh a more diplomatic dining mess hall kind of thing i'm liking the walls here yeah, actually, HD Lidget, our, one of our builders, uh, worked on this room for me. Did a great job with the wall design and all that. Is it Lidget or Lidget? Uh, I, believe it's Lidget. I believe it's Lidget. I'm pretty sure. I, I feel, yeah, I feel Lidget. I don't know why. Could be Lidget. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, this is the galley, a.k.a. kitchen on the ship. You never see any of this on the show. This is my invention here, but... Um... Yeah, this is just where the where chef would uh, grab some. This is like the freezer. You grab some cold, cold frozen food and whip something up for the crew or for some diplomats that are visiting. Because of course ships should have a way to make uh, actual food uh, in addition to the replicated food. Because you never know what alien is going to come aboard that maybe doesn't want to eat replicated food. Anyway, this is the Arboretum. I figured Discovery would probably need an Arboretum, being a super advanced science ship and all. You never know what kind of alien plant life you might need to cater to, so that's, oh, you the, guys that's what's going the, on here. The big boy Arboretums yet, the ones in the secondary hole. Uh, oh, right, of course, the, the Spore Arboretums. Yeah, we'll get there in a few minutes. Uh, that shouldn't be a super long because the neck actually of the ship doesn't really have too much in it anyway we are still in the outer saucer section here not too much out here except some lounges which is what we're passing right now mm -hmm. yeah it's like open to the corridor hang on i got two pairs of headphones in at the same time <laughs> sorry uh, we just a passed second. a couple okay. more escape pods okay i, I did it got it a couple more escape pods along the way here. We've got the port side airlock. That's on the outside, is outside, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that is, that's that's the outside. Yeah, I'll that's where. The outside. Yeah, sure, we can go up there. Yep, this little hatch on the rim here is where they could dock with another ship or starbase if they needed to. See that on like the NX01 and Enterprise? They do that pretty frequently. Uh, oh, yep. Well, this is a good opportunity to show the transporter rooms right here, which is a direct replication of the TV show set. So you've got the pad up here, got the controls on either side. Hey, um, I'm very happy with. Oh, go ahead. You used a. You, you remember the reference picture you used on this, right? Do you remember where the where the camera was positioned on your main reference picture? Oh, um. I think no. It's probably there's pro there's one that has the cast of the show on the actual transporter pad. I think the camera's like around here somewhere. Okay, good. That'll be a nice transition to the sure. to the photo. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am. Sense. I'm very happy with how this uh, this room turned out because I think it looks pretty identical. Of course, being Minecraft, but it looks pretty close to the show. So, very happy with these. Awesome. And then there's another there's another one right across the hall here. And a few more rooms on this deck as we continue along the curve. Where'd you go? I was in the other transporter room. Hi. Over here. Hello. 
if we continue on the hallway here, we've got coming up. Let's see, did we pass it? Yes, we did. This is one of the main rec rooms on the ship. This is, it's got a little mini tennis court and a basketball court. Um, yeah, we've got a little, little tie, or chisels and bits, uh, basketball there that somebody made. Let's play some porch, my man. <laughs> exactly, but yeah, this was, this is just, um, just a place for the crew to come and let off some steam, play some nice friendly games with each other, um. And of course, exercise is important on a ship. This is where all the dwarves go. You don't always have the opportunity to do, to have shore leave or go on a planet, so there needs to be somewhere on the ship to uh, get some exercise. So that's that's this is one of the rooms where they could do that. Anyone can move on if you follow me out the door here. You need to make 3D chess over here with little tiles. That's what you gotta do. Oh, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> You gotta do it because I can't use little tiles because I'm. I actually don't really know how to use little tiles either, but. Make I've Aurora got one of it. the. We've got one of the three or four. I think there's three or four. Uh, cargo holds on the ship. This is cargo bay. I guess it'd be two. Um, yeah, you can see there's this big open hatch on the lower part of the saucer here that opens up, and then they. And tractor beam all these boxes and stuff in here. Oh yeah. Pretty fun design. I'm glad that I got to incorporate this into the ship because, of course, there are no deck plans of the ship available, so I can kind of do what I want in these kind of areas. Well, now there's deck plans available. You made them. Of course. Actually, we can go back in. I was going to go on the outside, but continue along. And then coming up, we have the uh, forward security complex for the saucer section. Which includes, to our left, is the main brig, which you see in the show a handful of times. Um, got three little cells here. Huh, what's below here? Are you able um, to descend one block? Uh, just, that's just supposed to be a lighting feature in the floor. Nothing special. It, that's just uh, that's something that's on the actual set in the show, so... Incorporated it there, too. Then continuing right across the hall, we've got the quote-unquote holodeck that is very controversial as seen in the first season of the series. Um, it's basically just a little holographic training room where they can uh, make some fake Klingons to shoot if they so desire. And then the second part of the security complex is the armory, which we're in right here. Got some racks of phasers. And then through here we have the main uh, security briefing room, which is here's where like the security chief would direct the team of security officers for their mission for the day. On, on mine, I have a checkpoint at the armory station. Security checkpoint. Ah, uh, smart. Yeah, there. I again, there's a lot of empty rooms on the ship, but. When I get to the point where all those are filled, there will be other security checkpoints with memories and stuff around the ship, so... Uh, as you can see, we've got the opposite side cargo bay to the one we were just in. This is on the starboard side now, probably cargo bay 1. That's probably what that one would be. And... One more thing to show on this deck is... We passed the jeep. Uh, we did pass the jeep, but there's another jeep down the shuttle bay, oh, okay. which we'll get to soon. This is the main gymnasium of the ship, which actually the only gymnasium of the ship. Yoga room. Um, exactly, and as I was saying before, it, it is important to get exercise on a ship, so wanted a nice big gymnasium, gymnasium complex here with some treadmills and uh, yoga mats and weightlifting sets. Oh, that's just a screen in the wall for announcements ah. or for entertainment or something like that. And, of course, there's a rock wall here. So, yeah, that is um, that is the gymnasium. And then if we continue along, one more thing that I've totally forgot. Actually, two more things. Gosh, this deck has so Did much stuff that I keep forgetting. Make a a beeline up the ring because I lost you again. Oh, sorry. Oh, there you are. I went a little far ahead. There we go. <laughs> uh, two more things here, which here we are. This is a dedicated science lab on the ship. 
uh, specifically dedicated to um, cetaceans. Wait, cetaceans that's a and well, it's not specific, specifically for cetaceans. It's it's for any kind of liquid that they would need to do a lab for, with a big tank of uh, water or any other liquid. Shouldn't there be a window here? Uh, no, because the water level stops, can stop right there where oh. they could either feed the They're fish, so zone. to speak. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, that's just, you know that's another thing you don't see in the show. But thought it'd be a cool inclusion to have the cool water-based science lab. Of the ships here have one of those in some fat manner or another. This is an entertainment room, and this is the swimming pool specifically. Um, this is mostly kind of a joke room, because I mean, the swimming pool on the ship is kind of a silly idea. But of course, famously, the Enterprise in the original series is considered to have a swimming pool, so I thought it'd be a fun inclusion to have Discovery. I mean, why have, have a, one also? Like on Enterprise D, why have a swimming pool when you can just go to Hot Deck and skydive off the off Angel Falls? <laughs> right. Exactly. Or Victoria Falls um, or whatever it's called. And actually, one of our builders, Droid, um, built this room for me. I should give him the credit because he did a great job with that. As a sauna here. If you guys didn't know, the Enterprise D actually has giant cetacean tanks. It's actually it on the It does plans. indeed. Entire aquarium um, facility with okay. escape pods for it. I've said it a few times now, but that is officially everything to show on that deck. So, excuse me, we can go through a Jeffrey's tube and give an example of that. So here is the ladder down to the next deck. We have officially entered the neck of the ship. Whoa. Which is like the connecting piece. Oh yeah, if you look out the window Wait, we've got the don't ship. Th don't don't tell them what it is. Uh, tell me in the comments oh. what ship that is. Sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not giving them any other hints than that. Anyway, this is a very uh, very pointless deck. There's basically nothing on here except some escape pods. Pretty much just for evacuation purposes, this deck here. And we've got another staircase here, which I mentioned earlier. You can get to every deck of the ship from. Pretty much same deal with this deck. Nothing nothing really on it. Just some escape pods. So we can move on. Stuff on it. We're taking the stairs screw exercise. Ah, uh, yes, this deck does have interesting stuff on it. This deck has a very unusual sloped area. As you can see, we're in it now. The corridor starts angling downward. We're right. Oh, and yeah, we're right below the spinning thing. We are. So, there, I don't really know why the, this corridor does this, but in the show, you can clearly see from the outside, these windows have a very distinct angle to them, so, of course, had to include that. And we are actually now in the ball section of the uh, saucer section. Um, and, there, again, there's not too much stuff in here, but there is the ship's main computer core, which I will get us to... Just a second. This is the bottom of the computer core here. If you if you look up, it goes up a deck or two. And yes. below the computer core, if we come over to here, this is the ship's main planetary sensor dome from the inside. Yeah, that's interesting. I like that. Yeah. So there's kind of this outer catwalk that goes around, and then you can come down here and do some uh, computer work and on, check the readouts the and outside. stuff. Yeah, it's the, it's the big white um, big white dome on the bottom of the ship that most uh, ships have. You see that on the Enterprise, especially. On the, on the Enterprise, that some people usually thought that was a phaser emitter, but it wasn't. Well, it does have phaser emitters around the rim of it, to be fair. Let's see. Uh, but not on this ship. On this ship, it is purely a sensor. Anyway, we can continue on if you're ready. Yep. We can come up this ladder here and do another Jeffries tube, because that's a good way to get out. Yeah, man, I'm just following you. 
Now anyway, curving back around to where we were, just in the neck, we'll continue down into the secondary hull at this point. The fact that you're not getting lost is astonishing. <laughs> I'm lost. Well, I know the ship like the back of my hand at this point, so... Dude, I don't even know the back of my hand very well, if I'm being totally honest. <laughs> That's a fair point. Uh, you can tell me honestly if that's really sad or not. You can go down here, another deck. Are you following me? There you are. Alrighty. So on this deck, this is one of the evacuation decks, um, where the large docking gangways detach from, as seen in Season 2. You look here. This is a gigantic docking tube that unfolds from the neck and can attach to another ship. Um, in this case, it's attached to the ship that you saw oh. out the window. Look which... back at me. I found a, a thumbnail. Get closer. I'm going to go full, full Quake Pro. <laughs> and save. We're good? Cool. Uh, but yeah, these are kind of a silly feature of the ship because they look very dumb unfolding and detaching from the neck the way they do in the series, but... Yeah, that was a little, ship, a little weird. Yeah, it's it's an unusual thing, but the ship easy, has them, so I included them. Do that. And if we continue through here, I don't believe there is much else on this deck, so we can probably take this turbo lift down a level, which right here, this took us to just a little seating area in the hallway here. Yeah, I'm sure this is, this is another docking, um, another docking tube here, but it's all folded up. Continuing along. Dock, wait, hang on a minute. Were the docking hmm. tubes in the ship? They were, yeah. It's like kind of a big scissor mechanism that God, unfolds that just, that's just neck. so weird mm-hmm I think I lost you oh I find you I'm in the Jeffrey's tube oh I didn't go in the Jeffrey's tube here we are yep this is another relatively boring deck just a lot of hallways pretty much Yep, don't believe there's anything worth showing that I can't remember. So yeah, actually, stay where you are. You're actually in a better spot. We can continue on. Oh, duh. What's in here? Oh, this is, yeah, this is actually a dome? secondary... No, this is a secondary computer core that is dedicated to the holographic systems on the ship. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, as you'll know, if you've seen Discovery, that most of the ships tend to use um, Star Wars-style holographic uh, projections for communication, and that computer core that we were just in is specifically dedicated to that uh, system for projecting the uh, holograms. So, yeah, that's, that's the deal there. And yet again, oh, here, this is the waste systems on the ship where they... Ooh, boy. Yeah, this is basically the sewer <laughs> where they, um, Just what repurpose. I want to see as a sewage worker, all the shits people have been taking. Exactly, yeah. This is where they repurpose the solid... But the solid, excuse me, solid and liquid, um, waste on the ship. Yeah, that's, that's what, that's the deal here. Don't we have Brown's Day glass at? Or uh, is there we, something else? We do, but uh, but it's a it's a solid texture. It's not a clear texture. Yeah, so uh, I was wondering. Like, I would have used that, but I guess we don't have it as actually brown. And nothing else in the back here. So going back down another deck. Ah, shoot. We can probably skip. a lot of these decks are the same, so we can actually probably skip that deck because it's really nothing on it. Go 
come down to this one. Is this the first deck of that big wing thing? Uh, no, we are still in the very bottom of the neck, and the next deck below us will be the wing. Um, same deal here, nothing really on this deck other than a lot of hallways and random rooms. So, if we continue down this staircase... Oh! That doesn't right exist. here, <laughs> this is the interior of the deflector dish, which is the big uh, purple circle at the front of the triangular secondary hall that you see on the outside of the ship. This is all the what the interior of that looks like. It's just a whole bunch of... Oh gosh, I don't even know what this stuff is called. I don't really know my technology too well, but it's just a big... Um, a big thing that deflects stuff out of the way of the ship, essentially. And it shoots particles at stuff. It does indeed. Coming down, down to this deck. She uses a weapon sometimes. When the plot needs it. See, yeah, we're getting into some interesting stuff, I believe. We can... Oh, that's a staircase that goes up. We need to keep going this way. Oh, this is the this is the torpedo launching room. Uh, most of it is automated, uh, but this is just a, a room for them to do experiments or maintenance on individual torpedoes if they need to. Uh, if we go up this ladder, um, actually, well, yeah, this is what is the torpedo tube oh, right where here. Where does this go? Hmm. Oh, that that's the that's the actual torpedo tube. That's that's not actually a staircase. Oh, um, but, okay. But yeah, through through this um, through these bars here, that's that's the actual launcher that the torpedoes fire from. And continuing. I went down the la down the ladder. I lost you. Oh, just go out into the hallway. Where where are you? I'm on the second floor where the launcher is. Oh, oh. teleport to me. There we go. Okay. And then, I believe we were just... No, we actually weren't. Okay, so this deck is... We get to some interesting stuff on this deck, I believe. Oh, you know what? I just skipped the whole two decks that actually have some pretty important stuff on them, so we need to go... Starting to get lost on my own ship, because this is where it gets kind of confusing. Yeah, it's bound to happen eventually. Here we can go. Yeah, we can go up this turbo lift here. This is where we want to be. So this is that. This is the main engineering deck of the entire ship. Um, this has them all of the main propulsion systems and stuff that essentially makes the ship fly. Uh, oh, what these are? Fly. These are the. Um, distribution nodes for the oh gosh this is this is like where the warp core distributes power to the rest of the ship i believe curie could our build, builder curie could probably tell you better than i could um she does a lot of systems she does uh, i've got a corridor here with some windows that look in on some systems those are the cooling systems for most of the engines, they make sure they cool down and don't explode or overheat or That's anything. Yeah. Uh, this is a bit of a maze of a deck with a lot of crisscrossing corridors. So. What side of the ship are we on? We are on the port side. Uh, these are this is just a little lounge for some officers to rest on their on their break if they need to. Hallway. This is one of the main, other main lounges of the ship. Big two deck tall lounge with some nice big windows that look out at the warp engine out there. Uh, yeah. This is, this is a fun design. I had the, I had like most of the team come together to build these rooms, so this was a fun thing to do with everybody. And continue. Here, 
Actually, we can go back the way we came. There's that stuff can come later. Through here, this is where this is the this is the fuel storage of the ship. Uh, this is where they keep all of the deuterium that powers the various engines that help propel them through space. Um, you can see there's four giant tanks of fuel in this room, and yeah, plenty of fuel for them to oh, go yeah. on long missions. I've been lost for 75% of this video. <laughs> oh, oh this, don't this, tell me impulse engines. Yeah, this is the impulse engine. The the sublight engines, the ones that are not warp speed, and these um these are big fusion reactors that. I don't even know what they do, but they create the thrust that pushes the ship out of the big red uh, thruster on the back there. Yeah, I'll show you guys the yeah. uh, thruster. Yeah, the big red thing there, that's the engine that um, pushes the ship through when it's not at warp. That's, that's, the, that's the deal there. Okay, where did you re-enter from? Uh, you can just teleport to yep. me if you need to. I just went back into the impulse bay. I kept pressing shift instead of enter. Now I'm done them. And continuing through here, you, this, we've got a quick sneak peek at the shuttle bay out those windows. We've got this nice corridor that overlooks the shuttle launching bay, which I is a I very cool view. I think I showed this in my video before last, but we'll... We'll get of it still. And we can show off some engineering rooms now, which you will probably recognize from the series. Gotta cut through some turbulence. And, and we get to see where all the shrooms are grown. I think actually they're still down one more deck. It might be, yeah. through down this turbo lift. Here we are. Don't look up my skirt. So this is the engineering, uh, main engineering deck. Got main engineering itself, which is a custom mine trek design, because of course you never see this room in the series. They reference the room, but... Which drives me nuts. I know, that you, you still have never actually seen it, unfortunately. But that's actually a good thing, because it gave me and my build team a good opportunity to design a cool engineering room ourselves. So who made this? You can see, oh, that was me. I made that a, a long time ago before this version of the build was even a thing, and then I realized it would be a perfect inclusion for this room here. Uh, but if you look up above in the ceiling is the one of the main matter tanks that actually pumps directly into the warp core here. So it's it's kind of a cool sight to see the fuel um, going directly into the warp core above you. That's okay, pretty neat. let's see. And there's a PTC. Mm-hmm. And on the level below, I'm in engineering right here, is the antimatter. And on either side are six, um, six big antimatter tanks there. Which, if you know how warp works in the Star Trek universe, of course you have antimatter and matter that get both get pumped into the warp core and it creates a reaction that propels the ship and warps um warp and, space uh, so that it can go great distances the core and those pods can be ejected uh yeah they can on, on this ship we have ejection systems built in uh for that very reason so this this is a room that you'll recognize from the series this is what the, the hell? main. I've never seen this before. Mm, it's funny. This is the main spore test bay from the show that they that they do all their work in. I mean, this we've seen the... the mirror, but wait, is this? Yeah. Wait. What's the problem? Okay, never mind. I'm trying. So yeah, the ship has two of these rooms. If yeah, that's what is you're... it on this side in the show, or is it on that side? I think it's the on this one... side. You see them both in the show, in personal is what my personal headcanon is. This is the one that you see the most in the show. Um, 
this is the one like where they actually operate this board drive from but if you can do it from both rooms if you need to the one on the other side you see in the show where they zoom out um, in the third episode of the first season um, but that I think that's the only time you see that one the, um, the rest of the time they're so more than likely in this one that's this board drive there through the window yeah it, through that that big red chamber that that is um, the actual spore drive itself. You know what drives me nuts? Hmm. Their spore drive looks exactly like the TOS warp drive. Yeah, it doesn't look exactly like it. I mean, I guess it's sort of similar. So but, we automatically um, assume it's the warp drive when it comes up on screen. Whatever yeah, time. they they don't. They never call that red room the actual um, warp drive. They. The dialogue is very difficult to figure out exactly how the engineering on the ship works, but it's I'm fairly confident that I have it in a way that um that works the best for everything that they say in the show. I um, mean it's powered by mushrooms, so not everything's gonna make sense on the ship. Exactly. Let's see. Not too much else. Sorry, I'm kinda of taking you in back and forth here. <laughs> Trying to think of what. Oh, oh wait, we can show the um, the spore growing bays because those are actually right off of the engineering room we were just in. Oh, now creepers lost. No, I'm not. I realize that. Here we go. So in the show, the they are they have they do all their work in this spore lab, but then they can come through this door and enter into the cultivation bay which is right here this giant and this thing is, yeah this is a big old warehouse where they actually grow all the physical spores that operate the spore drive um this is actually before the discovery was refitted to have a spore drive yeah, this was an actual this was a converted section of the shuttle bay that um the old version of the ship had that they blocked off to make into this big arboretum thing. Hang on, let me try something real quick. What are you trying? I'm going to make it look like the show and on, in editing. I okay. reduced the, the view distance all the way down and set it to dark, then I'm going to color grade it. Oh, smart. Come out, come out from the bushes. This is your natural habitat. Can... Exactly. Um. Oh, through here. Can show this off. Hey, if you're ready. Change it back. Sure. We should be close to I done. There's sure. only a there's only a few more big parts of the ship that I need to show, and that'll be probably it. This is the main cargo elevator of the secondary hull, where they can. At the bottom here, we have one of the cargo bays on the lower on the lower decks. Yeah, let's and, go to the, the show bay before we show them that. Yeah, but I was just gonna showing off this elevator. This is where they can take stuff from that cargo bay and ah, lift it up you. into these engineering decks if they need any components. Um, but we can go ahead and go to the next deck here if you follow me through here. We have, to, we have to go back up and then back down through this turbo lift. Where's the down? Here it is. This might as well be a corn maze. It really is. Uh, Come on. Down one, down one more. Okay. So this is. Nope, we want to go. Oh, I'm taking you the wrong way again. My bad. We, this, we want to go to the shuttle bay, which is over here. Here we are. Here is the Discovery Shuttle Bay, which is, you see in the show very frequently. Um. It's a huge shuttle bay, one big room basically. Um, got three elevators on these circular platforms here that can lower down into the parking bay, which we will show next. 
Uh, did my best range. to rep. I... Sorry, oh, those what were those you saying? Windows we saw earlier in the video. Exactly. I did my best to replicate the TV show Shuttle Bay in Minecraft, and I'd say I did a decent job. You see that in the corridor? That's interesting. We've got the shuttle is lifting off, preparing to launch. Uh, that's a good opportunity to actually show the shuttles. Um, pretty basic, just two little rooms. Got the seating room and then got the cockpit. But yeah. These are very difficult shuttles to make with one meter blocks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a little bit bigger than they should be. They're like probably about one and a half times um, the, the actual size, but... They, they they look the part. They 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 work well. So anyway, lowering down this elevator platform here, we have the launch tubes, which you see in the first episode of season two. And it's a pretty silly idea. Nobody really likes them, but of course the ship has them, so I had to include them. Out the back here, they they launch um, their little launcher pods. That. They can, I don't know what they're for, I guess they, I think they call them lander pods, but they don't look like they can land, so. And these? Oh, those are just maneuvering thrusters, kind of just secondary impulse, except not as powerful. Gotcha. And if we come, if we come back in the launch, too, we can go check out the shuttle parking bay, where they keep all of the shuttles that the ship has. We're here, yep, these, this is every shuttle that the ship has. They all can park and get refueled in this giant maintenance bay here. Oh, We've got little, wait, like... There's more. I lost what are you, what are you, you talking again. About? I'm stupid. Oh, over okay, here. There you are. We've got a little uh, tool, tool shed kind of thing where they can make repairs and grab tools to work on the shuttles should they need to. Yeah, this is cool stuff. And then the level below this, through this this hatch here. Got a little tease of it earlier. This is the uh, secondary hull cargo bay, which has a little truck in it where they can like forklift um, or like carry uh, carry cargo boxes through and so they don't have to lift them with their physical hands, which would be difficult. Um, but yeah, this is just where they keep all the main engineering supplies. Stuff that they may need on their journey. And that takes us through every deck of the ship so far. Uh, the only thing now, I think, is probably the warp nacelles, and that should be the tour of Discovery, more or less. Uh, where I just went out. I went out of the ship. You can teleport to me. Yep. So, if you, you see where I am, here we go. Oh, we missed that weird um, that weird turbolith nest thing. Oh yeah, let's let's look at that really quick. And then we'll check out the nacelles. And the stupidest be... thing in the entire show. It really is, but what can you do, right? When Children I get there, you can, just, you, you can just teleport when I'm in there. Alright, I made it. I'm gonna teleport again. So, I'm sure every, anyone watching this video is probably aware, but in case you're not, in Season 2 of Discovery, they showed this gigantic warehouse thing where the turbo lifts are on these like tracks and they go every which direction in the in the this in the ship and it, it. it's it's very strange nobody's quite sure why they included that but and in the show it's actually much bigger than this and there's a lot more turbo lifts crisscrossing all around but i made it way smaller to so that it could fit and it would take up too much room but just so you could say you had it Exactly, because, I mean, it is, as silly as it is, it is a part of the ship, and I didn't want to ignore it completely. But yeah, in the show, you see this corridor that has a window to so look up into that room, so. That's the whole deal here. Personally, I wouldn't showing. have added it. I would have just been like, hey, this is stupid. And I know. I was tempted to do that, but I, I didn't want to fully ignore it. Anyway, I'm back out of the ship now and going to the warp in the cell, which should be our final stop of the tour. Gotta stick with cannon, air quotes. Exactly. So here is the warp nacelle slash warp engine. Uh, we've got the three forward-facing Bassard collectors on the front, which, if you know your Trek tech, these are what 
suck in all of the particles and hydrogen that it can help convert it to extra fuel if the ship needs to uh, make more fuel for itself. They, Which they is a real thing. Those things. You can read about it on Wikipedia. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a pretty cool idea. So they can extend the length of their mission if they need to to make more, more fuel for themselves. But anyway, yeah, this is all the components for that that make that work. Um, it's a very it's a very complicated technical process that it's just a glorified I intake. I won't bore you with. Oh, and then this next chamber here, this is the actual this is where they store the fuel that they convert with these tanks down here. And these are the I think second stage fuel converters or something. Maybe that's the first stage. Yeah, that's the first stage. These are the second stage, not that anybody cares about this stuff. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't go to him in the cell when I was a shad. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then in the next chamber here, we have the warp injector, which is where this is. This thing here is connected directly to the warp core, and that it travels throughout the whole ship and plugs into this section here, and then it shoots out into the actual chamber of the nacelle, and it all works together to create warp speed however that works it's fake science fiction who knows um I'm, I'm but yeah confused this... about how the this power is transferred to the coils that's what i'm confused about yeah i don't really know i don't know if anybody really knows i'm sure curie probably does but yeah this, this chamber in now is where all the warp coils are which you don't normally see in star trek but you, you see them a handful of times in next gen and voyager um, it's wireless charging, yeah. that's what it is. This is a very long nacelle with a whole lot of components in it. Got the coils room, which we're in now. We've got the rear injector, which is here. Are you with me? Yes, you are. Yeah. And then that branches off into this section here, which is the off-axis field emitter, Gen I believe it's field called. Field generator, yeah. Yeah, this, and this is... I'm not sure. I think this is what helps repair the the space that gets warped when it travels through through warp and if i'm correct on that i guess it modulates everything yeah who knows it's basically just a thing that helps keep the warp speed stable i'm pretty sure but wait there's more <laughs> yeah i know it's a it's a long cell the thing behind that i can't remember what this is curry helped made it make it just to fill some space but it, it does have a purpose but I cannot remember offhand what its purpose is. And then continuing on behind that, these are the intercoolers that, um, I guess it's just to, for cooling down the warp uh. systems or something. The two little fins on the back of the nacelle on the outside, that's, these are connected to it that in here. Just it just keeps the, going. I know. This is the, la this is the last thing, though. The, everything beyond this. Oh, this there's is just more. Structural. Okay. No, this is just structural support. There's, this doesn't actually do anything. Okay, I, th I believe that is the tour of Discovery done and dusted. We obviously skipped a... Yeah. Didn't show every part of every deck, because that would get tedious, but... I'll get, I'll get a quick external view. If you haven't already most commented of the main what that rooms. ship was... Right, yeah, you should show a better shot of it from the side in case... Uh, people didn't get a good view of it, but the ship docked to Discovery is a different ship from another sci-fi show that I'm sure Figured somebody out yet? will recognize. This is the Millennium Falcon from Harry Potter. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Okay, well, I will let you do whatever outro you do, but hopefully you enjoyed that tour. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's do it inside. Shit, the, sure. This ship. Okay, the cockpit. Sure. It's the bridge, not the cockpit. You're well, on the lower. It, it looks more like a cockpit, if I'm being honest. Well, it is okay, a let me get my sword. Where are you at? Where are we looking? All right, guys, that was a discovery. I hope you enjoyed that year of work. I'm it actually was, yeah. It was it was less than a year, but it it was a really great great um experience building with everybody and how many active builds are there? I 
at oh least gosh, right 15, now, maybe? Right now, active, we have, I think, over a dozen. Yeah. Yeah. At yeah, various stages server. of completion. We have, they're all at various stages, but... You can tour yeah. this place yourself. It's, it, it'll be, I guarantee it'll be one of the coolest servers you've ever been on. It, I can speak to that. It is quite the thing to experience. Um, but yeah, that's discovery for this video, I believe. Hopefully, I everybody enjoyed. I will be probably doing droids next. I don't know what... Shad told me what the ship was called. I don't know what it's called. Uh, the ship name is the Maxwell. The class is the Malachowski from what the Discovery. Hell, Shad? You could have just said it was the Maxwell. <laughs> well, maybe Shadow didn't know. Alright, well, would you say that's it? Yep. Mr. McMuffin Sr.? Sure is. Thanks for turning. Thanks for the time spent. Of course, happy to do it. This is actually the third time you've been on. I think. On what on your channel? Yeah. Maybe I think Three so. Or four we times. definitely we did a couple a few years ago, which I remember. You can um you should link my channel in your description because I've actually been thinking of possibly starting up some videos myself soon. Probably some discovery videos and my other ship, the Shenzhou. I'm sure I can do some build updates on that, yeah. possibly in the near future. It's funny because if I go over here, the last time you were on, we took a look at this. I'm sure you uh, all did remember we? that. Yep. Last time I think we, were we on? looked at the previous version of this because this is the. Um, this this version is pretty recent, and I have another one that is. Yeah, the nacelles do look version. different. I think I showed everyone this, but I'm loving the dry dock. Yeah, this is the this is a this makes mine trick history here. We've never done a ship in dry dock before, and I had always wanted to, so I decided to make a quick and dirty dry dock, and um, get discovery in here as a. As if it's being repaired and constructed, so. This kind yeah, of thing cool that makes stuff. me wish we could see everything at once. I know. If you turn your render distance up and let it all load in, you can kind of see it, but it's pretty tedious and that makes you kind of go potato mode usually, so. Not on my computer. I've been getting consistent 60 to 50 FPS. I don't know. Oh, loading in all fast. of this might give you trouble, but. Whoa. Anyway, we can we can probably wrap this up now. All I right. have some things to do. Later. Yeah. Goodbye, guys.